sleep very easily. Yeah. I stayed up kind of late. Well, and when I did fall asleep, I fell asleep. But I was really hungry going to bed. <laughs> I needed more. Fo I wanted more food. Yeah, of it was, uh, yeah, unusual. I'm not used to feeling really hungry and not being able to do anything about it. The challenge is, I, I think, was the first day, starting with the dunes, with the heaviest pack. Yeah, but they're going to look at this one and be like, oh, that, yeah, because you abused it. Actually, there was someone down here that said that it was their 12th year doing this, and that was the hardest stage they had seen. Yes. Wow. So, mm. once you get depleted, it's it's just your energy is gone. Like, oh, well, they sent this so, it's, it's uh, survival, but uh, not giving up. Una opinión de otro amigo español donde dice que es cortar un poquito el, el taco este para evitar la ampolla. Para evitar la ampolla le cortamos unos milímetros. Starting to feel better. Okay. So, nope. When the darkness comes, I'm going to feel much better. Yeah. I'm ready for this to go away. <laughs> How's Jason and Carlos doing? Basta 
gusta te, tener experiencia, si, si no estás a 100%, como, como, como es el caso, las piernas no, no andan. La cabeza quiere, pero las piernas no, no pueden. Es muy duro la maratón de sables, hay que, estar, eh, hay que llegar bien, llegar al 100% para tener una buena clasificación. Para mi momento actual, lo pienso que estoy haciendo una carrera brutal comparado con los, otros, los últimos años que, que la enfrenté bien preparado y lo estoy a conseguir gestionar bien el esfuerzo y bueno, espero dar todo ahora en la etapa de maratón para finalizar muy bien esta carrera. Yeah, I did my best, that's all I can do. I'm proud. I'm really proud. Oh my god! I uh, went from hell and came back and was able to run a very nice flat fast finish in the cool past a few people this was uh, this one crushed me <laughs> that was a very big day I was couldn't even walk at one point you know in the Sun it was so hot on the sand I just thought I would be 150th place <laughs> But all the good things in life kept my head there and pushing forward. And thanks, guys. That was an experience. <laughs> good for you. Yeah, it's emotional. I've never done this so many days in a row. It's, it's unusual to go so, so deep into the pain cave and to a place I can't run and then be able to come back. That's the uh, dynamics of the Sahara. Eh, la última parte corrió muy bien, me sentí muy bien y ahora creo que eh, el corazón está más contento y quiero correr más, pero ya <laughs> sí, hay muchos problemas en las en las dunas, en la arena, pero la última parte se podía correr bien y, y bueno, yo creo que es lo mío, siempre he corrido y, y esa es la, me, me costó mucho la última parte y luego más de noche nunca había corrido noche, creo. La primera vez, no, segunda vez que, y fantástico. Man, I was overheated the last forever. That first mountain is beautiful. And uh, I might have enjoyed, if there were a Coca-Cola, I might have enjoyed a Coca-Cola on top of the most beautiful mountain with a sandscape as far as you can dream under a beautiful little tree. Da guardo c'era ancora. Non l'avevo ancora tolto. <totipo> Thank mm -hmm. you. 